Who's ready for more Hot For Food Approved? Today's edition of Hot For Food Approved is with products all from Sprouts Market. Now, I'm in Los Angeles, the general Los Angeles County, and there are Sprouts all over the place, so not everybody has Sprouts. Uh, some of the products are Sprouts original, like, you know, Sprouts products, and some of these products are stuff that you could probably find at other grocery stores. But I happened to buy all these things at Sprouts and they were things I had never tried before. So this is another edition where I am just trying things for the very first time today and hopefully they're hot for food approved. So let's begin. We, let's start with this yogurt, okay? This is Nancy's Probiotic Oat Milk Non-Dairy Yogurt in Strawberry Hibiscus Flavor. I've already featured my favorite yogurt on episode, I believe, one or two of Hot For Food Approved. It's just the so delicious coconut vanilla flavor with no sugar. My big issue with vegan yogurt is that they're not that good, usually, and they have too much sugar. This one only has nine grams of sugar. That's pretty low compared to some of the other brands I've seen. It has the live cultures. But then I guess my other issue is that oats have no fat. Yogurt is pure fat, of course, real dairy, and that's why coconut makes a great yogurt substitute because it's fatty. Oat milk has no fat, so they've gone ahead and added faba bean protein, coconut oil, tapioca flour to thicken it, agar, you know, those don't, to me, make great yogurts personally, but let's taste it. Because I'm not gonna lie, real yogurt is incredible. And so it's hard to find a vegan substitute that's really good. It's gotta be thick, it's gotta be tangy, it's gotta be low in sugar. This one's looking very liquidy. Is it fruit on the bottom? No, just sort of separated. It's very gelatinous. Smells good. So in terms of thickness, it's not bad. You know, it holds on the spoon. It's not, not very cold. I just took it out of the fridge. It was not bad. So although it has cane sugar in it, it's not tasting like sugary to me. It actually has a pretty clean yogurt flavor. And like a tang and like some citrus. Strawberry puree, citric acid. But cane sugar is the one, two, third ingredient. But it's not overly sugary. Like some of the vegan yogurts, you taste them and you're like, oh, it's like pure sugar. Uh, oh yeah, I actually was not expecting it to be this good. Wow. I like being surprised. Okay, so. This is actually like, like, okay, when I want to eat like yogurt and I eat it plain with my own fruit and granola, whatever, that's one thing. If you kind of miss eating like, you know, the fruity yogurt out of the container like this, this is a good one. Like, I'm gonna go try the other flavors. I forget what other flavors there were. Wow. This is approved, y'all, because it tastes like yogurt. It doesn't have a stale taste. It doesn't have a sugar taste. It tastes like fruit. It tastes like what it says it is. Mm. Imagine that. Good job, Nancy. Hail Nancy. I've been dying to open these freaking gummy bears from Sprouts. These are their in-house brand. I don't know where they're made. They're made by Sprouts Farmer's Market. Vegan gummy bears, no artificial flavors, obviously no gelatin, and all natural colors. Pumpkin juice, spirulina extract, elderberry juice. Love this. Perfect. Let's open these. Eight flavors too, which I'm stoked about. When do you ever get eight flavors of candy? And they're big. Oh my. They smell amazing. Oh god, I hope these are good. Look at these. They're a little bigger than your standard usual gummy bear. I love me some good vegan gummies. Hard to find. Mm. We have a pink one. Like usually vegan gummies are a little soft. These are soft, but they're not bad soft. These are good. Mmm, green apple. These are very flavorful. 
Okay, these are dangerous. I hope I never had these before. I think after Chris uh, C. Snacks Clark did the gummies taste test from Whole Foods, someone mentioned that there was gummy bears up Sprouts, and I think that's what got in my mind about going to Sprouts. They have weird faces. Oh my God, this is a Coca-Cola one. What the heck, these are amazing. I have to try every color. I have to try white, yellow, orange. Here's a darker, darker red one. I can't believe there's Coca-Cola. Now let's go dark pink. Strawberry. Mmm, I don't know what that light pink one was. It doesn't even say what the flavors are on here. I sort of like that I get to guess. This is my memory of eating gummies or even gummy bears at the movie theater when it's dark and you don't know what you're getting when you go in the bag. That's what I'm experiencing right now. And then when you get a yellow one, you're like, all right, <laughs> here's a yellow one. Yeah, it's lemon. Lemon, why, who make, no, don't make a yellow gummy that tastes like lemon. Make it taste like pineapple or mango or passion fruit or like there's a million of peach there's a million other things it could taste like okay this should just be a gummy bear analysis video <laughs> now we've got let's do white i always like the or the clear it's not really white it's like a clear one yeah i never know what its flavor is it's the same as like a traditional one what is the clear flavor if anyone knows what a clear gummy bear flavor is supposed to be please tell me it's not cream soda it's just white or clear. What is that flavor? Pear? It's not pear. So it's, it's a real mystery, whatever that white flavor is. And are there not white clear ones in the regular gummy bear package? There's white, green, yellow, orange, red. Okay, orange must be orange. Unless it's peach. No, it's orange. Okay, and I think this is gonna be the best flavor. It's the dark red. Oh, it's not. What is this? I don't know what that is. It's good. Elderberry? Blueberry? Okay, I don't know. Very impressive. Vegan gummies. Maybe the best. Well, you know, I have to say, Sour Kids are accidentally vegan, and those are the best gummies. But for, ve for specifically labeled vegan gummy bears with natural colors and stuff, those are really good. All right, we have now frozen things we have to get to here. It's a Tada Falafel Street Wrap with spicy brown sugar harissa hummus. Now, this is not something I would normally buy because it's chickpeas and I don't, I'm not a huge chickpea fan. I don't usually eat a lot of chickpea based things, but I thought this was a cool product because I've never seen a falafel wrap frozen and ready to, to buy like this. So I was very curious. It's like the frozen burritos, but it's a falafel wrap with hummus. So I'm gonna wrap in foil and heat in the oven at 350 for 20 to 35 minutes. All right, I'm gonna do that. Then we're also gonna do Amy's vegan rice mac and cheese made with organic rice pasta. It's really hard to find Amy's frozen meals that are actually vegan. There's a lot of vegetarian ones and I always get confused. When I saw that there was a vegan gluten-free, not I'm not gluten-free, but I mean, that's amazing vegan mac and cheese. I was like, I gotta try this because mac and cheese is one of my fave things. So this one I think we could just do in the microwave. I don't think we need to do an oven. Oven is 375 for 40 minutes. Ain't nobody got time for that. Or three minutes on high for two minutes. Interesting color. It looks actually closer in color on camera than in real life. In real life, this looks much oranger. Okay, I have to say this mac and cheese smells amazing. And is sticky and gooey amazing. It doesn't even seem like it's gluten free because it's holding really well. I'm gonna put some pepper on it. Rice mac and cheese, rice pasta, organic vegan cheddar style cheese, water, potato and cornstarch, organic coconut oil, sea salt, sunflower oil, natural flavor, organic fruit and vegetable concentrate, pumpkin, apple, carrot, organic annatto extract for color. Organic sweet rice flour, organic high oleic sunflower or sunflower oil, sea salt, nutritional yeast, mustard seed. Huh. Potato and cornstarch, eh? Sounds like the nacho cheese sauce. Mm. 
What the heck? Wow. For microwave mac and cheese, this is really good. <laughs> it kind of tastes like my one pot mac and cheese that's in the new cookbook. I don't use potato in that. I actually use pre-made cheese <clears throat> with other stuff. Okay, this is amazing. I don't get how they could make this so good. <clears throat> I think I've seen this at Target too. This is so good. Even the pasta doesn't seem like rice pasta. It's like not mushy. I want to eat that whole thing, but I'm going to get full and I got two more things to eat. That's good. It's like a junky tasting mac and cheese. Like, I like it. All right. This I've also been so excited about because I never see vegan mint chocolate chip ice cream. This is Ripple. Uh, Ripple also makes a milk, I believe. I thought it was pea milk, like P-E-A milk, pea protein milk. But this is coconut, coconut oil, tapioca syrup, cane sugar, you know, the usual things. Oh, there is pea protein in it, okay. So check it out, looks like delicious mint chocolate chip ice cream. Mint chocolate chip is pretty much my favorite ice cream flavor, but I've not really ever had it as a vegan. I think I've had it once ever at like an ice cream shop somewhere. I don't remember where that was. It smells good. It has more of what I would say is like a natural mint green color. So that's cool. I used to get the kind of Baskin Robbins. Very green, fake green. Mm. Okay. I'm sorry, but coconut is the best thing for ice cream. It doesn't taste like coconut to me. Oh, never mind, coconut oil. I have to say, vegan ice creams are weird. When you read the ingredients, you don't, you're don't. you like, what am I even eating? Water, cane sugar, coconut oil, tapioca syrup, solids. That's essentially the base of it. Water and oil and sugar. Um, This is good. This might be my new favorite ice cream. The thing I look for is how it melts. Because some vegan ice creams, when they melt, are really gross. Like, they separate, or they're oily, or they're foamy. Yeah, so approved, so good. All right, now the wrap. That took like an hour to bake in the oven, not 25, 30 minutes. I don't think I'll ever buy one of these frozen wrap slash burritos ever again, because they're just a pain. They like, you can't put them in the microwave if they don't taste good. You can do the oven, but you still have to do like half an hour in the oven and then the air fryer. I can't even bother with the air fryer right now, so I'm just gonna taste this, but I'm like, I don't know if it's gonna be that good. It's just like the outside is like soggy and just, it's never really what you wanna eat when you're eating one of these things. It's just like you're eating cause you need to eat and move on with the day. Like you have no time. That's what these are for. And so I just, ugh, it doesn't look good. <laughs> this might be good if it were made fresh from scratch. It just has no like texture. It's like all mush, hummus, mushy falafel, mushy wrap. Definitely needs some like doctoring up. It's very like flavorful. Like the falafels taste like they're raw. No, this is not good. I'd rather be eating a burrito right now. This is not a burrito. This is a falafel wrap that should be made fresh from scratch, not like heated from being frozen. Cause now the hummus is like hot. The chickpeas are not cooked properly with the crispy outer, so outer side. Mm, okay, well, what was the best thing? The gummy bears were amazing. The mac and cheese were, was amazing. The ice cream was amazing. The yogurt was amazing. And this was a flop, so that's okay. Four out of five hot for food approved from Sprouts. If you've tried these products, let me know what you think in the comments below and subscribe to Hot For Food if you're not already. More hot for food approved to come, more recipes to come here on the channel, more sea snacks taste tests. So just keep it locked. Follow me on Instagram at Hot For Food and at Laura Toyota and at Snickle Says, my cat. He posts photos too, you know. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching, bye.